What's up everyone? Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7 and another video for my uh, Tamiya Mountain Rider pickup truck. This is the uh, re-release version and obviously I've been doing a build series and now I'm up to probably one of my uh, favorite parts of uh, building a truck or any RC model is uh, the uh, painting and and with that like my RC tanks uh, some weathering and uh, Try to find out and learn interesting new techniques. But anyway, enough of that. As you see here, here is the uh, basic show as you get it in the kit. The good thing about these Tamiya uh, high, lifts, uh, high lifts and the uh, Mountain Rider, the Bruiser for example, they're all hard plastic, which I prefer. Okay, anyway, so as you can see, it comes in the kit like this. Just the basic white. First steps. Most importantly, people might rush. Uh, they don't prepare the body enough, or they don't wash the body, and they why they and they wonder why their paint's peeling or it's not sticking properly or adhering to the plastic. So, first step, what I always like to do is I just wash them with basic uh, dishwashing liquid, give them a good rinse in and out, get any uh, residue that's oil residue from the factory or any uh, releasing agents off the plastic, so it's nice. Nicely uh, prepared and ready for the uh, paint. Now, next step. You want to get yourself a good primer and something that is recommended for the service you're priming on here. Now, I've always used these Tamiya-based uh, primers. They're a little bit more expensive, but they've always worked for me. I've had no issues, so I'll just keep using them. So, as you can see here, this is just a, just a, a grey colour. It's for metal and plastic. Use it wisely, you only need really one coat. Just give it a good thorough uh, once over, and that's all you need. Wait till it's dried, and then you can move on to your next step. But very important, wash the body, get rid of anything that's uh, any foreign debris or anything like that, and uh, then you can spray your uh, surface primer. And that's uh, pretty important. Obviously, you need to mask out any uh, windows and such like this. I just use basic uh, painter's tape for any of these jobs, they work well. Just go carefully and cut around the uh, desired shape that you need to mask out and you should be fine. Now the kit uh, recommends, well it depends what colour you're doing, but I'm going to be doing the box art because it's just going to be uh, back to like a original colour. That's what I've got here. As you can see there, it's TS 39. This is the Mika Red. Beautiful colour. That's the one that's uh, on the box art and I, I think it looks great. It goes well with the chrome. So there's that colour. X18 semi-gloss black. You can get this, you can either use a spray can or just a little uh, bit of the uh, painted on. This is really only needed for some of the finer details and one lower bar just here along the bottom here so just got to mask up later once I've primed it also kit recommends some um, X2 white X26 this is uh, like a clear orange which is used for the uh, turn indicators on the light so you need that plus clear red for the brake indicators and there's one more paint uh, misplaced it here it is it's for the interior x64 fat uh, focuses which is for the seat and uh, whatnot also chrome silver but I'm not too sure what that is it's around the room somewhere but yeah that's pretty much all the paint so, that was just the first step, just uh, give me a little bit of a rundown on what I go through. Importantly, also, is just making sure that there's no imperfections on the body and filling them if you need. Um, I've gone through this pretty well and there's uh, the body's fine. I've cut, obviously, the injecting mouldings off, sanded a few places here and there. But generally, to me, our bodies are very good and um, the quality is great, I can't really fault them. 
So, yeah, step one, preparing the body. Next video, let's prime this bad boy up. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share and subscribe for more. Appreciate it. Have a good day.